welcome to Knots. How, how pleased are you to, to have joined Knots? I'm over the moon. Um, like I said, I've, I've been waiting a long time to to get out and play some football and this is a perfect place for me. So, yeah, like I said, I'm over the moon. What makes this the perfect place? The gaffer, the way the way they play football, how big of a club it is, you know, the stadium. Um, obviously, where they are in the league, it's a, they're in a great position, uh, fighting for something um, fighting for something amazing. So, all them things tick the boxes and, yeah, I just can't wait to get started. I guess that style of football is important to you. You look at that and see a way that you can fit into that, do you? Exactly. Um, with me, it's just the main thing is for me to play games, so I can't be too picky. But with me wanting to go on loan, obviously there was a few teams that I could have went to, but like I said, this place here is just it's perfect for me, the way they play football, um, like I, everything. All the boxes were ticked for me. When you say you need to play games, obviously you've had a lot of injury problems over the years. What's that been like and, and how are you now? It's, it's been tough, obviously, but so is, so is everybody's normal life. Do you know what I mean? People that have normal nine to five jobs, people that are football players, everybody's uh, life is life is tough at some point. So it was just a tough time for me and my family. But with the people that I have bef behind me, my partner, my children, um, all my family, it's, it was nothing that was ever going to stop me. So. Like I said, um, put all that behind me now. Um, it was about two and a half years ago since I last did have one of them injuries. So now I just it's time to kick on. It's time to time to play football and time for time for me, time for my time to shine. Where when I've sat back and watched everybody else, now it's it's my time. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? Because football is a a relatively short career, but you are still only twenty five. So there's there's still plenty of time for you. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. What what, what people not don't understand, but that's the thing that people don't realise I'd say sometimes I think I started when I was like 17 so I had a lot of appearances under my belt I think I had like 100 appearances when I was like 19 I think so um, I remember saying back then I reckon I could get like a record amount of appearances for somebody at a certain age but then obviously I had the setbacks and everything happens for a reason I'm a strong believer of that but yeah the, the years that I um, missed out I'm here to make up for them. I'm 25 now. I missed three years, so technically I'm only 22. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were playing the championship only last year, of course, yeah. um, and then you know moved to a League One club. Was it was it a tough decision to to say right, I'm going to step into the National League rather than finding someone higher up? Not at all. Um, people might look at the National League and think it's the National League when. Really, if you look at it, look at the teams that are in it, look at the the top three that are about to get a crazy, potentially get a crazy amount of points. Um, and I easily think the top uh, the top three teams here could play in League Two, League One anyway. So it was um, it it wasn't um, it was a no brainer really for me. Yeah, you're known to Notts fans, of course, because you scored a hat trick uh, yeah. against them a, a few years back. Possibly one of the your happiest days as a player, I guess that. I knew that would come out at some point. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I remember that day very, very strongly. Um, it was the first game of the season and I think Knotts were like favourites to, to go up. So we knew it was going to be a tough game. I scored one and I just wanted the game to end and I ended up scoring a hat-trick. And I, mm. I, rem I remember my dad, he's normally quite quiet when he comes to the game, but when I scored a hat-trick and went and... Uh, see him after the game met him to go back to London I think he had um, one too many drinks that day he got a bit excited <laughs> <laughs> well listen I'm sure if you score a few goals between now and the end of the season and help not so all will be forgiven because yeah. you you're joining a team now pushing for promotion that's an exciting thing to be able to do isn't it moving to a new club and you get to join one in a promotion race and what as you mentioned what a promotion race it is this year exactly that's 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 one of the main f reasons as well why I wanted to come here. It's, just, it's so exciting. Like, however, however, uh, however long is left of the season, I think it's maybe three months or whatever. Um, there's, there's still a lot of games, and it's just so exciting to be battling with other teams so close up there and stuff like that. I just thrive off that. I love stuff like that and pressure and things like that. So, yeah, it's exciting, and I, I can't wait. Wish you all the best with it. Good to meet you. Best of luck with it. Thanks Thank you very much. You. Hi uh, Jodie, um, whenever a lot of the signings come in under the gaffer, a lot of them have mentioned the intensity of training. Uh, is that something that you're looking forward to and you relish in? Yeah, of course. Uh, as a footballer every day, um, you have to work hard. Uh, some people think you just come in and kick a ball around, but 
yeah, even from today, my legs are sore. So uh, the intensity, the intensity is there, and it's a good thing because it just it keeps everybody going, everybody working hard. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. A lot of people have said that um, the gaffer has been pivotal in their moves to Meadow Lane. Was that the same for you? Was he a driving factor for you to join the club? Yeah, one hundred percent. Obviously, the way he plays football, the way the way he gets the team playing football. Um, I think it, it speaks for itself, really, and yeah, like I said, it, that was a massive reason why I also wanted to come here. I know we've already mentioned the hat trick against Knots, but um, during your time at Coventry, have you, you know, any special memories from playing at Meadow Lane? A lot of people have said about the atmosphere at the ground. Um, have you had any fond memories there? Are you looking forward to playing there potentially this Saturday as well? Yeah, well, I'm, I am really looking forward to playing there because I haven't played here before. I remember we, okay. we had the playoffs against Knotts, but unfortunately I was injured. But I do remember seeing the atmosphere when I was watching it on TV and it, it was crazy. So, yeah, I am looking forward to it and I can't wait to play here. And for those that aren't familiar with you know yourself, um, how would you um, describe your playing style or similar style to someone? Um, I like that one thing I will always keep and one thing I'll never change is I like to, to get the crowd off their feet. I like to excite people. Um, I'm f- I'm still fast, even though I've had a few bad injuries. Um, I'm tricky. I like to try and be different and pull off passes that people don't see. Um, I'd like to say I'm a good finisher. I have good end product, and I'm very, I'm dominantly left footed, even though I have improved on my right foot. And then just finally, um, are there any particular players that you're looking forward to playing with, or have any that have impressed you today? To be fair, I came in today and the standard was the standard was high. Um, we did like an eleven v eleven, and whatever team like really had the ball, you couldn't really get it off them. So all the boys have impressed me. To be fair, um, and I just it's nice to know that I'm going to be working with a strong team.